Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice, and welcome back to those of you who've been here before. My name is Monica and today I'm doing readings for the week, starting July 27th, 2015. Before I start, I'd like to say thank you for all the support you've given me by liking, sharing, subscribing, sorry, and simply viewing my videos. I truly appreciate it and it makes me feel like the readings I do make a difference and help you and that makes me very happy because that is what I set out to do. Okay, so let's get to the readings and please do remember they are general readings and so some of it will apply to you, some of it won't, um, some of it um, will inspire new messages in your mind even though it's not exactly what I'm saying so just please take what resonates with you because that is what you're meant to hear. Um, if you would like a private reading um, you can email me at advice to think twice at gmail.com and I'll get back to you with all the information you need for readings. Okay, so let's get into it. This reading is for Leo. Alright, Leo, you have what looks like a very good week. On Monday, you have the Lovers card. Now, the Lovers, it could be commitments in a relationship or it could be partnership choice and signing contracts at work if it is in the relationship sense I feel like there are some doubts when it comes to your partnership maybe there's a third person involved or maybe you think there's a third person involved you have that intuition I feel like on Monday you're questioning your partnership, you're questioning the devotion your partner has to you, or maybe you're questioning whether or not they're being faithful. Or it could be in the work sense you get offered a contract and you need to take your time and look through it because you need to make sure everything's in order with the contract. On Tuesday you have the Three of Wands coupled with the Love card. So maybe in the love sense for those of you who were debating whether whether or not your partnership is sound on Monday, maybe on Tuesday it all works out because your ship is coming in because you can see your future together. So maybe your partner has reassured you. And they are being genuine because they're standing on firm ground. Th there's a lot of earth in the card. There's a lot of... They're standing on firm ground. You've got mountains in the background you've got this powerful fire so they do have very much passion for you and they do see a future with you so for some of you you're definitely looking at your partnership on Tuesday and seeing your future together or making plans for the future because you're receiving so much in the present for others, this is in the work sense. You're being, you're starting to see rewards for your hard work, or maybe you've signed the contract and now you can definitely see where your career is headed, and it's a very prosperous road because on Wednesday again you have the Ace of Pentacles, so again a new beginning in money or money coming in or a gift of money or um, a pay raise or a promotion so this would all tie in in a work sense but it would also tie in in a relationship sense so it could go either way because you've got the Deliranti card so that just means it just brings you so much joy and so much happiness you feel like you're like you're drunk on happiness 
And so good news, whether it is in love or projects or work or money, definitely good news, a new beginning. Uh, an offer, again, for prosperity and richness and abundance. On Wednesday and then on Thursday you have the Nine of Pentacles. So again, you being rewarded for your hard work. So you're either rewarding yourself with a trip or news is coming in or money is coming in and you're enjoying yourself, you're investing some of that money in rewarding yourself and buying yourself new clothes maybe or getting your hair done or simply taking a trip and being outside in nature celebrating this message about money you received could be money could be well-being if it's love it's it's full rich love Then again, on Friday, you have another pentacle card. You have the two of pentacles coupled with the fortune card. So on Friday, you're having to do a little bit of a balance act. It could be two job offers. It could be two options for improving your finances and you're considering which one to take or you're doing you're taking something else on you and now you have two projects that you're balancing or two projects that are bringing you money that are bringing you fortune good fortune for some of you this is in health your health is balanced your diet is balanced and if you've got endurance I don't usually get this with this the two of pentacles but now it's telling me your health your diet is balanced you've got endurance you can uh, you can endure a lot of work you have the resources to do both jobs or to do both projects you can balance them in a good way in a in a productive way On Saturday you have the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is again a new beginning. It's inspiration. It's again two two things. You've got two sets of leaves on either side of the card. And so it's two ideas, it's two projects and you're moving forward either one you pick will bring you prosperity one will will bring you fruit sooner than the other but both of them are good projects both of them moving forward bringing good things in your life being bringing balance in your life bringing clarity in your life you're moving forward with focus it's it's the snake the snake the handle of the sword you probably can't see it but the handle of the sword is a snake so sorry I can't pick these cards up so these two are these two you've taken firm hold of both projects that you were juggling you've taken them in your hand firmly and now they're bearing fruit and they're developing and they're bringing you new beginnings and prosperity now the warning for this is don't burn yourself out because you do have endurance but don't burn yourself out keep it balanced for Sunday you have the justice card so again that's about balance it's keeping these scales balanced it's keeping both projects in balance don't let them take away from you more than they have to keep it keep
keep it light. Yes, work hard, but enjoy yourself as well. Because that's how you'll keep it balanced. Now for some I'm hearing a ruling going in your favour. Because justice um, can speak about dealings with the court system. A ruling going in your favour. It could be a custody a custody um, issue that is ruled in your favour. But it is balance, it is um, people treating you fairly. It is um, reaping the rewards of your actions. So if if you've put in the work and you know you've done the best you can, you'll be rewarded for it. If you know you haven't done the best you could or tried to shortcut things, this will come to light. But again, keep keep things balanced. Try to keep things balanced. And try to be fair to yourself as well as others. Try to be fair. I'm using the magical messages from the fairies oracle cards for your spiritual advice for this week. The card you got is perfect timing. This is the right time for you to move forward. So you've got all these new beginnings. That card is telling you don't have any doubt. Dispel your doubts because it is the right time for you to move forward. It is the right time for you to follow your plans, to go through with your plans, to make plans because they are protected. They they do come when they're meant to come and they, they are developing when they're meant to develop. And they're bringing you very, very good fortune because it's happening when it's meant to. Now for your relationship advice, your love life advice you have give your relationship a chance work on your partnership now this could tie in for couples it could tie in to the lover cards the lovers card on monday where you have some doubts and the card is telling you give it a chance work on your partnership beca because it is worth it and you are doing that on tuesday i feel and throughout the week as well you're being fair, give it a chance, be fair, be objective, give credit where it's due, cut through illusions or misconceptions or misunderstandings you may have, you may, you may, um, um, misjudgments you may make, give it a chance, truly work on it and if you work on it you will reap the reward. Now for singles, obviously this could um, talk about a different partnership. You could talk about a partnership with a sibling, a partnership with a family member. And maybe you've been having disagreements and it's telling you to give it a chance. It's telling you to um, be the one making a peace offering be the one to be the bigger per the bigger person because family's family you can't choose your family so good or bad they're still your family and so you should work on it and friends it's like Relationships come come and go, romantic partners come and go. Good friends are forever, so if something is going on and maybe you're not on the same page, try to get back on the same page. I 
and for some is it's, it's talking about the relationship with yourself don't doubt yourself don't doubt yourself okay Leo that is your week um, again it is a general reading so please take what resonates with you and um, if you'd like a private reading you can email me at advice to think twice at gmail.com I'll get back to you with all the information you need for readings um, please like share subscribe if you haven't I really really appreciate it and please do comment and leave me your feedback because I love hearing from you and I love to see how the cards play out in your lives so I hope you've enjoyed the reading I hope it was helpful I will see you next week thank you and take care